In late 1991, the Soviet Union was breaking apart. Russians were anxious about their future, and Vladimir Putin was working for the mayor of St. Petersburg. We all feel, and I should say even I sometimes do, that if somebody will come and establish order in our country with a strong hand, then our life will be better, safer and more comfortable. But in reality, this comfort will go away very soon and this strong hand will start strangling us. Fast forward 20 years and tens of thousands of people have been protesting because they believe their political rights are being strangled by the strong hand of Vladimir Putin. The former law student and KGB officer who climbed from city official to Russian president in less than a decade. Former chess world champion Garry Kasparov is now one of Putin's harshest critics. I think if anybody told us in August 1991 that nine years later we will, the country would be run by a KGB lieutenant colonel, this person would look like a laughing stock. Putin consolidated power, bringing stability and a talent for self-promotion. In 11 years, the world has seen him ride without a shirt and fully clothed. He dives, flies, and throws. And every year he takes questions on national television from people across the country. This year's show went for more than four hours. What do you think of the way he uses television to portray himself as this tough action man. Uh, but television has made Vladimir Putin and he he believes in the magic of television. But Vladimir Putin's spokesman tells me the image accurately reflects the man. Well he's an extremely charismatic person. Well he's a tough guy but he's a very balanced guy. He's a predictable guy um, uh, and he's a constructive guy. Peskov says that's why Putin can inspire such powerful loyalty especially among some young people. Putin officially sanctions the Nashi youth organization whose members adore and promote him. Others have set up independent groups like the women in Putin's army. Here they're wearing very little and washing Russian made cars because Vladimir Putin likes Russian made cars. The young have declared their affection in ink and in song. Uh, there are lots and lots, thousands and uh, thousands of young people who simply want to see stable, predictable country. But young people are also numerous in the anti-Putin movement and they're not buying into the personality cult. During his most recent Q&A show, the Russian word for Botox was trending on Twitter. Despite official denials, rumours persist the Russian Prime Minister is looking younger because he's had a little help. Well, one shouldn't react uh, closely to, to rumors. Uh, less you react to rumors, uh, less they appear. <laughs> he has changed. If you look at his face, you recognize that he's desperately trying to catch up with, with age. Putin's journey has been extraordinary. Once a quietly spoken official, he has grown to dominate Russian political life with a powerful mix of strength and showmanship. But that formula is now being publicly rejected by many Russians for the first time. Bill Black, CNN, Moscow.